Hey guys, what's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. And first of all, thanks to all of you. Together we have achieved it. Uh, I have reached that dream number that I was waiting for for at least two to three months. Last two to three months I've been putting contents just to get those numbers. Uh, it's a milestone. 30K is a milestone for me, big milestone, because I'm not uh, sponsored. I'm not having any monetization on my channel. How I get my views are basically from my reviews, number of reviews that I have done. So, so far I can see my numbers have gone past 1300 videos. So it's, it's crazy. It's like a dream sort of a journey. So it's all thanks to you guys, you know, because of you today I'm here and all the support that I got from rest of the world and in Bangladesh, those who support my page so I can carry on with the journey. All the fragrance bottles you have lent me, sometimes gifted me, like gifted me samples anything you know uh, it was my pleasure and uh, of course I got more motivated to do more reviews and upcoming days uh, hopefully I can keep up the pace so thanks very much guys it's a wonderful day for me I woke up really really happy today so today I have a fragrance review for you the review is kind of fun uh, I mean the fragrance is kind of fun fragrance because the presentation is just bonkers <laughs> if you never seen uh, this house Zippo. I mean, if you are a smoker, you would definitely know the name Zippo. You're familiar with it because they make excellent uh, lighters. And the lighters basically look like the bottle of the fragrance as well. That's the most interesting part. And these, you know, like you have to put like fuel in it, like gas in it. And uh, they have like those tin cans they give you so that you refill and it gives that nice sort of uh, petroleum sort of smell to your cigarettes. So those who smoke, I think they're going to find this very interesting. They have a lot of flankers of this fragrance. But I have the original one, Zippo original for men. So let's see what you get. First time I saw this review, I think I was looking for some information. Okay, fun story. And then I saw Chad, a gentleman's journey, who is my one of my mentors. You know, who actually like pushed me towards the community with his uh, collab work. And I always owe it owe it to him big time. Like Mark, him, these guys, they have done a lot. Chad basically is the guy who keep. He's the glue of the community. So he did the review on this fragrance and he did a lot more fragrance that you guys don't even have clue so I saw his review and he said this is gonna be reflective and you know he was like this early days and he said this is kind of like a interesting perfume so I got interested and second thing is someone gave me one of the brothers in the community he gave me this fragrance to sell you know I put it for sales post no one was buying it and I was like okay I'm gonna take it you know hell you know I, I thought a lot you know it's like not very expensive but uh, you know I didn't want to just buy it because of the bottle but in the end I couldn't you know fall my slow back I just bought it so that's the story so this is once again the box very interesting I'll show you the whole presentation then you will see why I got it they have the Zippo fragrances and then this EDT concentration 100 ml this has some age to it I do not know which year it was released I'll put the fragrantical link you can see nice sort of a red thin line it says Zippo back there is the picture of the bottle and if you see fragrantical there you have a picture of a dude here I don't think this is the one uh, perhaps this is just advertisement and they will say like uh, the essence they have described the fragrance the essence is bergamot oil of sicily clary sage absolute of uh, province uh, cashmere woods leaves of indonesian patchouli smoke vetiver of haiti and java okay sorry and then they have the uh, website here so very very cool presentation and let me see where the, this is the batch code here and the fragrance is made in states or where is it made in made in italy okay made in italy okay so that's the box but this is not where it ends when i opened it to my surprise i got really surprised because i didn't know this one would have this sort of presentation so this is the casing okay they will have zippo written in there zippo fragrances back there like that and then they have this nice sort of catalog or whatever the leaflet it will show you how to this is a refillable bottle how to take it off and put it back stuff like that i haven't tried it this is very cool original stuff then there was a bottle this is the beautiful bottle. I'm really sorry you're going to see the reflection of my room. It's really messy. And this is a fingerprint magnet. I think this is plastic or metal. I'm not sure. Gun metal plate. I'm not sure. This is how this opens. Okay. Exactly like Zippo lighter. And it says Zippo here. I'm really sorry about the reflection. This is like reflection galore. Okay. It's red here, the sprayer. And this part looks like exactly like the Zippo inside got red. And it closes the same way. I think let me try. No, it doesn't <laughs> so bottom it looks like that but the interesting part is when I opened this up I saw a second bottle and I thought this is 100 ml bottle but no they give like this is actually 50 ml uh, 
like it can hold this casing can hold 50 ml and this is the other 50 ml pretty cool so together they make 100 ml so let me show you how to take it off so you just take it out like that this is the bottle that holds inside you have to open the atomizer this part red part and this will actually come off when it's finished then you can replace that uh, this this part of this is glass and uh, this one is a locking mechanism i mean wait let me show you because this is all about the presentation you can put it like this then i think you can open it and you put it back i think it's locked or something i'm not sure so it's uh, inside looks red as well pretty cool presentation this is 10 for me in presentation those who want to collect the bottle just can collect it for the bottle itself okay so i spent five minutes talking about the presentation let's talk about the smell this fragrance is actually to my surprise pretty good and uh, things i wrote, like, read on fragrantica pretty spot on so in my hand there is something else let me spray this on my right hand and talk about it very strong fragrance by the way very very strong spray is good okay very very good spray this fragrance i would recommend do not go more than two two three sprays okay this fragrance if you do more than two to three let me try to hold it against the wall yeah <laughs> if you do more than two to three what's going to happen is this fragrance is going to be overpowering and choking you in a like on your neck like that because it's very very potent longevity on this is very good okay so this is the first strength of this fragrance like longevity it's really good i'll give it nine out of ten for longevity so smell is also very pleasant it's not uh, say very unique or uh, very niche like nothing like that but this fragrance has good smell to it it's very pleasant apple fragrance and it's very freshly apple juice sort of feel that you get from it but at the same time you're gonna get some lavender chonka some bergamot i'm getting those notes maybe licorice in it something very sweet in nature tonka bean definitely loaded with tonka bean so the fragrance projects even in hot summers it projects i have usually throw one on my chest and two outside of my shoulder and two on my each arm just to project but that's me outdoors indoors i will wear only one spray of it that will be plenty good back of my neck one on my chest perhaps that's it good to go this reminds me kind of like pure excess by pakoraban versace eros those have that vanilla this one has that sort of vanilla combo like the vanilla smell to it so you might think like vanilla must be too sugary too syrupy and too dense for summer no that apple makes it summer wearable in my humble opinion so if you're looking for a fragrance that you want to wear uh, all year round this is definitely i'm so sorry it's catching fingerprint already i really hate that for this but uh, pretty cool bottle nonetheless so this frame, who's it for? I think this is going for youngsters, people who smoke. One of my brother, Anupam Izas, uh, he is <laughs> one of my old friends in fragrance community. He said, moment I saw this bottle, I wanted to buy it just for the bottle. See, because he's a collector of Zippo, he has a few Zippo in his uh, collection. Uh, this is definitely uh, for uh, collectors. It's a collector's item, no doubt about it. And the price range I saw overseas, it's kind of cheap, 25 bucks, I think. But here I paid a little bit more because of the, you know, uh, what do you call tax profit everything added it goes it goes a little bit more like 40 dollars no regrets okay absolutely no regrets um the fragrance easily can cost for this kind of presentation easily can cost about 60 70 dollars i'm not encouraging them but this fragrance is pretty dope so when you uh smell it i think it smells uh kind of casual like um chat said but i would say you can use it for date dating purpose if you're a young youthful dude and uh, you want to impress a lady and you don't want to spend like more than 50 bucks this is a great fragrance to get you're gonna get like that refillable bottle nice presentation nice bottle you can brag about it and you can carry it in your pocket as well you know if it fits okay it's not that big you know compared to your hand it's it's kind of fits in your hand almost so it's a 50 ml bottle then the other 50 ml is right here so this fragrance overall it's pretty impressive really liked it i mean i did not have any expectation from the juice because people say it smells generic nothing new kind of remind me of lacoste uh, style in play that has a nice apple note uh, kind of like hugo boss bottle has a nice warm apple tommy bahama apple but this is better than tommy bahama by far very pleasant and very clean uh sweet kind of musky tone there but basically tonka is it lavender or vanilla either one lavender or vanilla. i think vanilla not lavender tonka vanilla and apples freshly cut green and both red apples beautiful fragrance i really be trying the other ones in the line the flankers overall this fragrance for the presentation itself it's 10 but for the fragrance what it is i'll give it 8.5 out of 10 very good longevity very good value for money 
if you're overseas definitely check it out this is a nice house good introduction zippo original for men that's the review for today everybody take care and i'll see you soon thanks for watching and keep supporting me like the way you do i will try to stay out of negativity <laughs> i'll see you soon bye, -bye.